be fearless in the pursuit of all of your passions. There are gonna be so many times where you feel like you can't keep going and there'll be ups and downs, but you just have to push through it, believe in yourself and know that you're capable of anything. If I could define my career in three emojis, it would be the fire sign, the crying laughing emoji, and then the sparkling, because it seems very glamorous, but then half the time things are on fire and you know, you're crying, dying, you know, it is what it is. NASDAQ means innovation to me. It means diversity, focusing on companies that are doing cutting edge things that are just needing the support and the capital. And I love that NASDAQ is a part of that. Icon would be my father. So he's an eye surgeon and just seeing that level of work really inspired me and showed me that, you know, even when you don't think you can keep going, you know, you see someone just achieve that and you even start to believe in yourself more. So definitely my father and my mother in different ways. And my mom came here when she was 24, when she married my dad and she, you know, adjusted to a new culture. She really found out what it was to be American and um, I think she has a lot of courage and she inspires me every day. The most used apps on my phone are Instagram, Calm, and the health app because I'm counting my steps and I'm getting more into understanding my sleep patterns because my sleep schedule is a little crazy with all the travel. I think the most memorable piece of advice is just to be persistent. Being persistent can mean a lot of things. It can mean being up really late at night. It can mean when one door closes, you have to fight for another door to be open, but just to really never give up. The biggest risk I've ever taken was launching my own company. A lot of people didn't expect that from me, although I had the business background. Um, you know, I'd worked in fashion and beauty for almost a decade, but I didn't have any like product development experience, but that's why I developed a team. And I would say that was the biggest risk and definitely the most unexpected and the most rewarding.